this is Connie here from the bookkeeping experts we're back for more and summer vacation is over my kids are back to school <laughs> I'm gonna miss them but we build memories we had a wonderful time we're able to take some time to enjoy those kiddos before they're gone <laughs> it goes it goes so fast so hopefully you also had the time to spend time with your family and build memories and now it is time to start going back to getting those books up to date uh, so you can get your point of reference and start thinking again about those goals you set at the beginning of the year remember okay see where you are so you can see if you have hit your target or if you're close to hitting your target or if you should just update those those uh, goals so you, you know if you if you reach it you want to hit even higher <laughs> all right but you need to know your point of reference so getting your books up to date very important today we're gonna talk about price rules remember I told you <laughs> I am back just to talk about that now price rules is where you are able to uh, set up on QuickBooks where some of your customers may have a specific discount all the time uh, or some of your services may have a specific discount so that's what we're gonna talk about so we we set up in QuickBooks online so you don't have to give the specific uh, discount at each of the invoices all right okay without much further ado here we go QuickBooks online let's go there all right here we are okay we're gonna get out of here first uh, let's go to overview how do I get there this is the accountant view we are going to click on the gear up menu go to company setting and make sure that we turn on the um, um, on the price rules okay so first thing you want to click is sales all right see where it says products and service you want to click on the little pencil on the top right hand side mine is on but if yours is not you would just click right over here to turn it on okay great now we're gonna click on done and next thing you want to do is click on the gear menu and go to all list see where it says uh, price rules here right below the product product categories Go ahead and click there we already have one here but we're gonna create a new price rule and by the way to change it or make it active you can just click over here on the arrow next to edit and it's a gunner okay or you can just um, you know if you have like season seasonal discounts and things like that you can turn on and off whatever way you want it okay so we're gonna create a new price rule and I'm gonna call best customers get discount and see where it says all customer I want to select individually so first we're gonna do those specific customers we're gonna give it to all products and service in this case okay I'm gonna do a percentage and I'm gonna say that I'm giving this customers 10% discount and you can set a date or you can leave it open okay so we are going to um, apply rule. We're gonna go to the customers. We're gonna add a customer here. Okay, see the, the little arrow here? I'm gonna select my best customer, yes. Okay, and I am going to save. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any, any time frame here, but you can. Let's suppose if you're just giving it for a month, you're going to say, let's see, August 1st, 2023 through August 30th, 2023. You can apply rule. You got the customer here. And we're going to save and close. Right, we're going to see what happens. So now we're going to go and click on the plus new and open up an invoice. All right. And I am going to select my best customer yet. That's the one who has the discount, right? I'm gonna put um, do on receipt, and I'm gonna select the service monthly maintenance. So I'm gonna say two hundred dollars, and this customer will receive the discount automatically. So I'm gonna save that, and you can send it to the customer, and this customer is gonna uh, receive the discount. Now, um, if you want to set it up. So the, the products 
if you, you're having a promotional product, you can do that as well. So we're going to create a new price rule. Now this time we're going to say that uh, month, monthly man, maintenance. Oh, I can spell. <laughs> I'm going to give all customers, guess what? 50% discount, but it's just for a short time, just for the month of August. So we're going to say here, yeah, just want these customers to have 50. What a deal, right? We're going to have a, an awesome deal here. You guys better sign up for, for our monthly service because uh, we're giving 50% off there you go all right so we are going to um, those are the the discounts uh, now I would have to set the price on this one first Ugh, let's go to set the price on that those, those products first so I can go products very quickly we're gonna add it I'm gonna say that is $75 and save and close we're gonna add it the hourly service is fifty dollar oh okay i didn't have any price here and just sales i'm just gonna put it 25 dollars okay save and close all right so we are ready we are ready so let's go to all list price rules and uh, we are going to create this new price rule we're gonna say monthly like I said monthly service discount um, all customers so we're gonna do 50% off but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that it's only for the month of August so I'm putting here just the month of August and apply rules okay look at this automatically okay so we're gonna save and close and now when you select a new invoice and we're gonna get the same best customer I am going to select that monthly service maintenance okay and i can get the best customer yet uh, or i can do the monthly service discount because this customer has two discount remember okay so you can either select the best customer and you gotta click on the arrow here to select by the way so either discount either the best yet discount but this month the best discount is the monthly service so we're gonna do that for this customer and uh we can go ahead and save and save and send you can put a little description here it's 50% off for this month as new customer or whatever you want to say uh, on your notes so all right okay I'm gonna get out of here we're not gonna sell we can save there you go we can save so you 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 can see it afterwards all right so um, if you go to invoices you'll be able to see that the invoice by the way this is just Let's go today, and there it is. Those are the invoices that I create that I created. Now this one didn't show the discount, so we're gonna go back there. Remember, we gotta select the best customer yet discount. I'm gonna say two hours. Okay, if not, it doesn't save. Okay, there you go. All right. Okay. This is it. This is price rules for you guys. I'm gonna go back here okay okay so this is price rules and i hope this information was useful to you now that we're gonna get back to school you can call it back to school discount whatever you want to call it. if you want to discount a certain product for a certain time yeah this is how you set up this discount in quickbooks online remember this is only available on plus and advanced subscription not available on the other sub subscription sorry now if you don't have a plus and advanced subscription remember you can always turn on discounts and we talked about that last week so if you haven't seen the video yet check it out 
<laughs> and then you I'll, I'll put the link down below by the way so you can take a look at it but this way you'll know how to still give the customer discount but you won't be able to set up the like a certain period or a discount a certain certain customer you can just put discount on your invoice and then you can discount a percentage or an amount specific amount that works as well right <laughs> okay hopefully all right so thank you so much for spending this time with me i hope that this is useful and if this was helpful to you remember if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe we come back every week with information like that uh to help you run your business better or if you are a bookkeeper or accountant to help your customers get the most out of quickbooks online get all the the tools and tricks and and and, and things that you can help them so that they can run their business better <laughs> and if your if your customers are growing and doing really good uh, of course you're growing as well so we all want to grow and and that's why i bring this information to you because i want to watch you grow i want to watch you hit those goals uh, and go beyond that <laughs> all right so we'll be back next week for more but i uh, hope you have a wonderful week back to school i know it gets a little crazy but until next time keep on smiling <laughs>